Assalamu alaikum dear children. We can begin our SS class here. Our first lesson is the equatorial region. Children, hope you have learned the temperature zones of the world. Can you say which are the temperature zones? Yes, the torrid zone, the temperate zone and the frigid zone. So there, so there are three temperature zones. This is the globe. Children, we know that the torrid zone is located between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. And also, zero degree equator is in the torrid zone. And today we are going to learn the equatorial region. Equatorial region is a region around the equator. It lies in the torrid zone. It is located on both sides of the equator. That is, it lies both in the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere. Equatorial region lies on both sides of the equator. It lies both in the northern and in the southern hemispheres. Now we can find out which are the countries located in the equatorial region. Some of the countries are the Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya, Colombia, Indonesia, etc. Children, can you say what about the climate? We know that equator receives direct sunlight, isn't it? So, the climate of the equatorial region will be hot and wet throughout the year. This region does not experience different seasons. The sun rays heat up the water the water evaporates to form rain clouds and they bring rain every day so what about the climate of equatorial region children ah the climate of equatorial region is hot and wet So now we can learn the vegetation of equatorial region. In this region you can see thick growth of plants because they receive heavy rainfall. So forests of this region are called rainforest. Forests of this region are called ah, rainforest. There are so many densest forests in the world. Rainforest in the equatorial region are among the densest forests in the world. Okay children, we can learn more about vegetation in the next class. Okay children, today we have learned the equatorial region, its climate and its vegetation. Assalamu alaikum.